options and all which are our prices which are more associated with the bond pricing which we have done using the spot rates as well as the yield to maturity the next two to three chapters are more focused on those aspects then again to some extent we'll talk about the durations convexities right and after that again there is one or two more uh, aspects where we bring in something called key rate duration and all which uh, are slightly more comparatively tougher specific uh, interest rate kind of concepts right but all these should be a quicker uh, walk for us uh, we'll uh, we'll just see so typically when we are talking about uh, the various cash flows in a bond we are talking about uh, the coupons as well as the maturity amounts and whenever we talk about the price of the bond we are just simply saying the price present value of the future cash flow even using your calculator you can do that right the present value of the future cash flows is what we are calling as the value of the bond so if the bond is going to give me a uh, coupons of if the bond is going to uh, give me a coupon of uh, 10 for the next 4 years or next 5 uh, years and probably a, a maturity of 110 100 on the maturity and let's say the currently prevailing market interest rate is 8% the net present value at what price should i purchase this bond the price at which i can purchase the bond is nothing but the net present value taking 8% as the interest rate and taking these as the four different cash flows so i can say the worth of the bond can be 106.62 right which which is where i call this bond as a premium bond because i am spending more than the face value if i'm spending more than the face value i'm calling it as a premium bond if i spend less than the face value i call it as a discounted bond so probably if the market interest rate is 12% instead of uh, 8% the market value of the bond is only 93.93 which is where we call this kind of a bond as a discount bond simple logic look at your coupons the periodic payment what is the interest rate of this periodic payment 10% 10% of the face value right when when the face value is 100 when these are paying 10 10 10 every year the the the, the interest rate or the coupon rate is 10% you compare that coupon rate with the market interest rate if the coupon rate is lesser than the market interest rate we call it as a discount bond coupon rate more than the market interest rate when i put the market interest rate as 8% we got the price as 106 which means it becomes a premium bond and when the coupon rate is same as the market interest rate it becomes a par bond price will be same as the face value at par kind of a bond so that is one quicker way of assessing whether the bond is a premium bond or a uh, or a discount bond or at par kind of a bond okay so whenever we are doing the valuation all what are the steps we are doing we are finding out what are all the future cash flows this we are estimating right in some bonds everything is fixed right in a regular